Yeah, they have a lot of troops up here in the Gobi. A lot of troops. They don't have a whole lot. Yeah. yeah. The troops that are tied up there. The troops that could have been fighting in other provinces. Yeah, it's better we have them fighting up there than down there. Drawing away their troops slowly. Trying to figure out which province has the victory point, so I know which one. Hunkai Shi Pocket. We close quite soon. Yep. Yeah, I think the war here is actually drawing to a close. Thanks to the valiant Mal Zedong who led the troops into battle. What about the over, like, almost 2 million <laughs> common turn troops? Obviously, they played no role. Obviously not. That'd be ridiculous if they did. Yeah, the common turn never played a role in China. It was all my. Their oh, biggest God. army is up here, it's a 9. I actually lost a lot of troops in this war. I don't I normally don't feel comfortable about losing this many people in one conflict for a small little territory. Hmm. I think the nationalist Chinese really kind of knew at that point that they that it was over for them when the common turn intervened. I have so many troops left behind. So, look at me, I like have all these troops that are just sitting here and you have tank divisions that are sitting up there. My god. Well, I mean, because they have zero manpower. Well, reinforce them. They have eight strength. I cannot reinforce. Oh my god. Trying to create the des the Gobi Desert Pocket. When are the Chinese gonna surrender? Like, we beat them out of most of China. I don't think they have the manpower to reinforce at this point. Cannot close the pocket. There's the three. The pocket is essential for the national security. Nationalist Chinese are actually fighting pretty valiantly. <laughs> we expect the other pocket, though, of the Gobi Desert to be closed May 13th. They're fighting, but they're gonna... they're losing. Hmm, this is definitely an interesting one supply. Hmm. Yep. You know, Waffles is gonna have his country. I already had mine at the start, so... <laughs> Didn't you just like stalled in Greece? Like mm. tooth and nail? No, I no I'm just taking some other place. I could take that one province in, that's in front of my five man army, but I need to like reinforce. I gotta wait for my troops to like reinforce. <laughs> By the time the pocket was closed, or about to be closed, the units are gonna be trapped in it. Already <laughs> The Soviet advance is just that. Oh god, they're gonna take. They're gonna take back Nanchong. Nanchong, what? Uh oh. 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 Yeah. Nanchong. You can still close the pocket though, because like they still have troops fighting up there. Seven divisions. That are like all understrength militia. It's an entire militia army. And it's just getting devastated. 
I mean, destroyed in the war here. These battles in the Gobi Desert are actually like really long and bloody. We lost the most people in the entire area, like in the entire region of where the Soviet troops have been deployed. The most casualties suffered has to be in the Gobi area. It's where we've actually like suffered defeats. We're actually about to close a pretty large pocket. Oh, Mao Zedong, actually, I found one battle where he was actually fighting in. I'll be back Hey, soon. look how many wins he has. Look how many battles he fought. He's a trickster. Oh, my leader is not fighting on the battlefield. But he is retired. To living peacefully. In his Russian estate. Well, we're nearing their capital. When are they going to surrender? I mean, the Chinese, like... We've almost nah, driven them off part. the continent. Unless I messed it up by intervening. I feel like they fight to the death. It's actually... Oh, God, Tepe has a... Tepe has a victory points. Okay, I don't give two shits on kiss. Give two shits. Most of nationalist China's war making industry has been captured. I actually have a considerable amount of IC. Oh, yeah, they take it away from you after the Civil War. <laughs> I'm not kidding, they it's take it away like from unorganized. me. Yugoslavian, Albanian... Oh, they're organizing a counterattack, I think. Oh, no, we're counterattacking. Where are we attacking towards? <laughs> oh, God. God. Really? I, I now have a puppet. Guess who? Oh my god. No, I can't Albania. guess. Albania? Yeah. The left, they left their military alliance right away and declared war on you and became fascist. We don't have a military alliance, they're just my puppet, bro. Or start a war of independence or something stupid like that. Is someone on the Xbox? I heard like the Xbox. I'm not. Noise. Nope. nope. Nice. Gotta be coming from you, man. I'm not on my Xbox, it's off. Oh, not coming for me, so. <laughs> One of you two. Apparently, Albania's gonna help me. They don't really have much troops. Come oh, on. you're encircling a pocket on the Gobi of eight divisions. Looks like this war's going on really well. I don't know. You think the war's still gonna be over by Christmas waffles? Hey, at least this is actually like the front's moving. This isn't like a World War One style stalemate. Yeah. And your lands, it, it's kind of like it now. Like you're you're advancing, but you're slowly advancing. But I bet it's at like very high cost of life. Yeah. Some places it is. Some advances. My guys don't want to get their strength up. Oh, apparently. you won. What happened? Oh, hey, would you look at that? Waffles won the war. Oh, 
Burma got us independence. You gonna invade Burma or something? After all, they are hard to end China. How'd the Indonesian war go? We have a left-wing radical Indonesia fighting the market liberal Dutch East India. So the communists seem to be taking ground at least. They actually are going to take a capital probably. 